and it was loud. So loud that you could hear Friday's implosion of DTE's Trenton Channel Power Plant? They had to hear that downtown. They heard it all the way to Canada. You were a little bit scared, kind of. Uh, yeah, I had to check my shorts afterwards. <laughs> Everything was okay, though. DTE says that this was 18 months in the making to get rid of the nine-story boiler house that had not been used since 2022. We had two different types of um, explosives. We had suspension chargers that were um, along with dynamite to bring the building down. All in all, we had over a thousand pounds of explosives. Oh, wow. Wow. This is actually the second part of the implosion. In March, DTE blew up the towers. We decided to do the demolition in two phases, really from a safety perspective. So that allows um, our contractors and our employees who are there to do it safely. So out with the old and in with the new. It's to build a 220 megawatt battery energy storage facility um, where the Trenton Channel power plant used to be. That'll be constructed and complete by 2026. What do you think it's going to do for this area where you live? Well, <clears throat> if it provides uh, stable power for 40,000 or so homes, it's probably a good thing. And there's just one more building that makes up the Trenton facility, but that will be demolished without an implosion. Part of our sort of clean energy journey is just to continue to um, bring down, you know, phase out of the use of coal and to look for, uh, continue to build out our renewable energy portfolio. So energy storage, solar, wind, um, and transitioning to use of natural gas. I'm all for progress. Is this progress? Time will tell. In Trenton, Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News.